Hello everyone. In in previous video, we have checked the privileged identity management under the module of identity and governance. And today we are going to check access reviews. If you remember, we were providing the privileged access through PIM. And in today's video, it's about access reviews. We have that option under privileged identities. And as per the name, we can easily guess what it would be doing. And that's exactly what it is doing. It will review the access, whether you need that access anymore, or you don't need it, are you using it, or you don't use it. So that's what we're going to talk about here. Well, it is a security best practice to regularly review privileged access that has been assigned. And this is because required access for employees and guests changes over time as people move teams or leave organizations and we want to ensure that old access permissions are cleaned up when this happens. Azure AD PIM has this functionality, access reviews. If we go to the portal, we'll, we'll show you the plate of PIM. You'll find the access review option there. Azure AD also have this access review, uh, but for now, we're only talking about PIM. The core use case of Azure AD PIM feature is to reduce the risk associated with stale access assignments. We don't want any snowflakes roaming around with some access. And this access review allows us to assign designated reviewers for sensitive Azure AD and Azure resource roles in our organization. Reviewers will then be reminded to either approve or revoke role assignments at review time. So you can easily understand what is happening here. We are creating access review. Now we need somebody who will actually review it. We call it a reviewer. And this reviewer will either approve or revoke uh, the access as per the uh, user comment or as per the recommendation provided by the system. We can also do a self-review. We can also assign the review to the to the users so that they can uh, judge whether they need that access or they do not need that access. So <clears throat> let's see uh, the options that we have when the designated reviewer fails to complete the review. It's quite possible, but it is, again, it's human beings, right? If it's a machine and scheduled thing, you would have all the hopes up, but you know, it may uh, get fail to review. So in that scenario, we have these options, and as per these options, the uh, assignment will follow. The very first is no change. Unreviewed access will be left unchanged. Whatever the access is, it will remain the same. Remove access, approve access, and take recommendation I was telling about. It's the system's recommendations, all right? So hopefully now, we would have some idea about access reviews. It's not something very complicated. We have to review the access of privileged uh, roles. And for that, we need a reviewer. And this review, we have to create as an assignment. I'll show you in the next slide, like this. This is an access review where we've got to give it a name. It's a global admin review. With the name, we can see we are talking about global admin role. And here we type the description, when it will start and frequency. Every month we're going to check it. And the review will be active after 14 days. And 
uh, select the reviewer. We have selected one reviewer here. He, this guy will review uh, this assignment of access review. Before I come here, I think I should also show you how to go there. There we go. There we go. All right, that is my default active directory. I'm already under privileged identity and here we have the access reviews under manage, right? Privileged identity management and access reviews. New. See, this is the window that I was showing you. I don't have the uh, license for this. So that's why I have the screenshots to show you. So that's how you create here. And in the next slide, it will start appearing as global administrator review under the review uh, right here. Where, where it go? Right here. Uh, if I close this, if I click here, it will start showing all the review, review access right here. Okay. And now here it is showing this review is for global admin and David is going to check or the reviewer. And on the, once you click here under the overview page, you can see this role assigned to the three users and nothing is reviewed as of now. But if you go next, we, if, if we can see these are the three uh, admins who has the access. And these are the recommended actions by the system. Though it's not reviewed yet, but system is telling it's not, it's last signed in more than 30 days. So let's deny the guy approve because this person is accessing. This is also again accessing. So let's approve these. Anyways, if you go to the settings of the role, we have the reviewers. If reviewers don't respond, then what would happen to the access to this role? I told you these four options. No change, review access, approve access, take recommendations. Next. Here you will select what you're going to do as a reviewer. As a reviewer, I'm selecting this one and saying role is still needed and approve it. It's that simple. So that's what the access review is. With the help of this, you can have the governance in place and remove all those people who doesn't need the access and keep access for those who need the access. Well, thank you for watching and you guys have a good day. Bye-bye.